after coming on board with the SCDC and following up on some of the projects they have had and recognizing that it's an extremely divisive topic in this area as well, um, started looking into what were the issues that keep us from moving forward and growing, and particularly growing our tax base that we might be able to provide better services and that kind of thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so at any rate. Uh, Dan Smith, North End. Uh, for every reason you heard why not to do it, that's the reason why you should be doing this. You've got to keep looking forward. You've got to keep growing the business and try. This is a pittance amount of money for what they do. Um, SEDC was instrumental for us to locate the Bunker Hill site. They negotiated with Tech Kamiko with us on this site. Bunker Hill wasn't our original location. We had seven locations we were looking at at that time. So Sandy and her predecessor were actually instrumental in helping us with that. Um, was it the Oregon business plan, which wasn't mentioned? Yes. They were instrumental on getting that going, just putting Coos County on the map with Pat Risen, which is the president of uh, Pacific Power and his group, looking at how to grow the business in Oregon. And that's something they're going to meet in Friday on, correct? Uh, December 13th. Right. 13th. Yeah, and so. we're doing a presentation. Actually, I've been asked to leave the presentation for South Coast Oregon. Um, his comment was this is the largest turnout had in any county in Oregon that they had in Coos Bay a couple weeks ago, which they were just shocked about the turnout. And that's the interest in the business people of growing this <coughs> and getting the information out there to everyone. And just to clarify, Oregon Resources spent $70 million on this project. We got $20 million more to spend. We'll do about $95 million on this project. And there are 70 to 80 jobs here that are really directly um, not responsible SEDC, but helped out in helping us get to this point, either by with legislators, with economic groups, with local businesses, politicians, and regulatory agencies. But you need a multi-pronged approach. You need approach. You need the counties. You need the cities. You need Fonzie. You need SEDC. You need the chamber. You need everybody to get this county turned around. So you know, I implore you to help out as much as you can because the county is a large entity. It's not just Coos Bay, North Bend. Coquille, it's the whole county needs to grow. Band you don't hear much about anymore at all as far as their growth, except for the port, I guess. So I got <laughs> Joe Drew, Coos Bay. Um, I think I am the youngest person in this room. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of young people in this area. So a lot of what we hear are folks who don't have a lot of time left. So when they hear three years for a tax abatement. That is their life lifetime to them. But for someone like me, to get a company established... Are you feeling old, Bob? A little, res <laughs> little respect here while I speak. Damn little. So whenever we hear about tax incentives, enterprise zones, those are set up for people that are young like me. So that companies can come in here, set up shop, spend the money that they need to do to start. Capital just doesn't come out of the air. It doesn't fall off of trees. These businesses that start companies have to, you know, raise this capital. They are paying a lot in interest to repay these loans. That's why tax and enterprise zones were created. We hear a lot of comments earlier about taxes in general. Well, how dare we not tax these companies because I'm paying my fair share? How dare we not raise the taxes on these companies, etc. I've lived in the South, I've lived in the Midwest, I've lived in the West, I've lived all over the United States. I've visited many countries in my short time here on the earth, and if you want to know where the businesses are going, they're not going where they're taxed. Look at the South. They're getting all the car manufacturers, they're getting all of the parts manufacturers, all of the jobs that the people of Coos Bay generally have skills for are going to the areas where the businesses aren't taxed. So what does that leave us? Unfortunately, like you said, we've got Salem passing laws uh, that uh, tax, tax businesses. There's not a lot we can do about that. We can vote, of course, and have our say that way, but if the state votes for it, that's what we've got to live with. So that's where companies, our private, public. private public uh, uh -huh. businesses uh, like SCDC come in. Without SCDC, Coos County doesn't have any sort of, and I'm going to say it, cheerleader to bring in business to this area. 
And you want to know why they haven't been as successful as I think some people in the room would like to see with lots of jobs? Look at Coos County. High taxes, businesses don't want to come here. The workforce is old, geriatric. The young people have left. You laugh, you're part of the group. Are you are you working? Excuse me. Are you Bob, working? You need to be insulted uh, by this puppy, Bob. I mean, is that that? Please listen, I've seen you I guys. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen you guys get up several times and speak. Direct now, not now. So SCDC is the county's cheerleader for bringing business here. You take funds away from them, and this county is hurt more than it is now. Because this county doesn't have any voice that speaks to business to say, come here, put your plant here, bring your business here, bring your widget manufacturing facility here. Because they have to overcome the difficulties of Coos County, the challenges of Coos County, the tax system in Oregon in general, the regulatory system in Oregon in general, these guys are our only voice to speak directly to the businesses. So obviously I'm in favor of the Board of Commissioners accepting the payment to, to SCDC. I, I apologize for getting worked up. But that's just that's just the type of person I am. I'm passionate, and um, you know I've just for too long have seen a lot of voices that are just grumbling and really not bringing anything to the table. A little little.